engaged. Well, oh, sorry. Yeah. I, I, I could have I, I could have gone for a lot longer. We're I could have made a lot more cool sounds. We're supposed to stop saying bad things now, Josh. The cool, more robot sounds. Now, listen. Uh, Gather Ed Throng. I mean, obviously, Cranston's here. I mean, it's part of his identity uh, to come and be a part of this uh, incredible product. But obviously, welcome back to the Cavern of Delights. See, Maytok also here. Also here? That's fine. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, obviously, welcome back to the Cavern of Delights. Uh, welcome to Black Remnant, um, a battle that is already in session. Now, you may recall uh, that Stavrin, in perhaps the first good deal he has ever made in the entire series. He's fucked up. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. I haven't fucked it up completely yet. There's, there's still some opportunities You were told here. not to look in the box. What oh, did you do? I, well, I did look into several you boxes. You looked in multiple boxes. Yes. Now, um, so things had gone poorly last time we saw uh, Roshan here around the table. Uh, something terrible did happen to the mongrel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, in a very special Stavrin-focused episode, uh, he went from place to place. He had a running battle with uh, the on-foot militia that operates this place. Um, I was able to discover a, a combat suit. Uh, Mephistopheles gave several old-school suggestions for its functionality. We were able to leverage that in there. Uh, at its culmination of the very special episode, I did in fact find a Flashman in a uh, hangar. I was able to... I mean, there are things that, that Stavern is good at, and one of them is actually computers for whatever reason. So I was able to leverage some great roles, uh, get a hold of a new piece of uh, military equipment um, for me to rejoin this battle, which is already in session. Um, of course, you might recall that Burnout, and now that he is being hunted by the Bounty Hunter, which makes sense, that's in the remit, um, he is, uh, he wants to be um, at the yoke a little bit more. He wants to make sure that his skills are sharp. As a result, um, he joined the field of battle as well. So that is the, that's the, the news from Space Lake Wobegon. And... Uh, I mean, now I guess we, we we roll initiative, or I mean, what are we thinking? Yeah. Oh, the only other piece of information I would mention to Kiko is that large portions of these buildings are actually just empty external shells that are essentially designed to make this facility look like something else. Inside, there's I mean, there's often very little superstructure. It's just hastily assembled lab equipment. It was. This is definitely a strange place. And you know, only the the strange network of the the Same was able to find out that it even existed. Son of a Godzilla movie, Josh. <laughs> Here we go. It could be ready. Well, that's horrible. That's not. No, that's much better. Oof. All right. Oof a doof. All right. Oh, yeah. So you, you've you, got you, a seven. We've got a four. Yeah, it's not yeah. as good. So it is now one, two, three, four, two. Oh, five. You got one, two, three, three. four. Four. Is, this is you. Yeah. Against three. Right. So the rules state. You're still one to one. Yeah. All right. So let's go down the hill. Uh, right. I'm not losing my mind with my counting. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, so do you have... Do you want me to get some, use up one of our movement slots, make one of them, make a bad choice? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, I have eight inches of movement with this Flash Man. It's the Flash Man. All right, I'll be able to work with that, I think. It's the Flash Man. Ba -da -da -da. Welcome back, David Novacat. Oh, obviously, 100% every time. The old stalwarts, always in the mix. Here, now listen, I, that used to be, uh, that is a, a, a song my 
uh, eldest would sing frequently in the house. He saved every one of us. God, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The video is unbelievable. The movie is the, unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Everything about it is just the, crazy. I actually it? just, um, uh, towards the end of last year, I rewatched it just because I wanted to make sure that it was a fever dream like I thought it was when I watched it as a child. Yeah, he, he like it's actually, a football? It's actually super pulpy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is exactly what it wanted to be. It but, was just really hard to understand when I was a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Ming comes in. But also a lot of times... It's just goofy as a hell. A lot of times you, you, you would move, get... Uh, you, if you had, a, if you were sick, a lot of times Wait, who, you would get you move? parked on the couch. The asp shouldn't have a thing, right? Yeah. So you have two left, yeah? Yes. Yep. And I have one, two. Okay. Yeah, but you would get parked on the couch with a fever, and watch TV for hours. Like, I, I I'm, Planet of the Apes is very weird. <laughs> it's weird on at the basic level. With a fever, it is insane. <laughs> but even when you're not sick, Flash Gordon is still is in the mix. Man, they did a lot of drugs. Yeah, a lot of drugs in that. They time. were waking. Hollywood up. was just totally into it. They were waking up from drugs. Oh, interesting. That is three. Got some new exposures. I think go six. Oh, what a what a zesty little gentleman. That's the Sturm Fear over there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now it is you have two left that haven't moved, and I have one, so you move both of your two. Yeah. That's, what I, that's exactly what I was going to do, Kiko. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, Skiggity, the graphics on the new, uh, on the new Mech Warrior game are quite good, aren't they? They even got the little hands coming down. It's Unreal Engine 5. It's the power of Unreal Engine 5. It's been Unreal, Unreal Engine 5 for like a decade. <laughs> Stand still for the Spartan. Stand still for the big one. Mm -hmm. So you fire first. I don't know. I think I got a. I think I got a reasonable shot from the flashman onto our opponent here. It's covered, but yes. He said, "Oh yeah, he's a, he is. A, he, I'm just saying he's a big boy." Mm -hmm. You know. The only question is, am I in the back arc? No. Potentially. No, you're in the side arc. But, I mean, I, listen, I, I'm fine if. What are you measuring exactly? Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is the. He's facing this his way. back arc is here, right? And he's but in the, the shot arc. is coming from here. It would have to come from here. Oh, I see. Arc. I see. So, in terms of actually like determining where the back arc is, you're saying it comes back yes. from a diagonal here. Yes, from head to head. I see. I see. Well, I'm still going to shoot him. Um, but and if you were in his back arc, he couldn't fire at you. Like I love he can't, that. like he cannot fire at the flash man. I mean, that sounds good to but me. But you are not. Shooting into the history. Let's do that way. Well, let's let's uncork some energy weapons. Um, wherever <laughs> it might apply. Um, so we are going four. We start with four, of course. Yep. Um, um, you move, that's zero. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no TMM because it is standing still. That's right. Uh, we are within medium range here. Hold on. So you got cover is five, medium is two. So, so seven. seven. No, for Stavron, not a terrible shot. Now, how many points of damage? Well, this, this, is, this is what we have to figure out. So we're trying to get seven and no back arc. So it is what it is. 
but we would like to put the damage points on the mech, if possible. Six. <sighs> you have three chips to use, but man, are those valuable. That yeah, cool. I, I think I think this is not the right time to use that chip, unfortunately. We'll, we'll see if I lose a second mech in one fight. So what do you think, Keek? Zap him. So no TMM. Uh, yeah. This is... Uh, Two base now, right? No. Is that zigzag driving That's, that? Uh, uh, I thought it was... Uh, oh. Roshan is in the ass. Yeah, right? Roshan is yeah. in the ass. Yes, yeah, so this is zigzag. It, so, but is it zigzag? I thought it was. Uh, there's zigzag is in this in Samira. Mm -hmm. Roshan is in the asp, and burnout is in the Nova. Yeah. Oh, okay. So five. She starts. Yes. No, she was at four. Okay, four. Uh, no TMM. Uh, so it stays at four. Medium range is two and mm -hmm. cover. So that's three seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four, we like that. That's a good start. Yes! Seven. Uh, seven points of damage. Yeah, seven points of damage. Okay. No structure? No. Nope. It just it just peeled him like an onion. I don't have the... Wait, yes I do. Here, Nova, no, looking for Nova pipe. Is he, is he clean? Yeah, he just came on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is this is the configuration that we've been using. No, it's the uh, prime now. Oh, it is because they got the upgrade. Perfect. Uh, so he is at a three. Who burnout? Burnout. Burnout. Yes. Three. Um, <clears throat> TMM Short on the range. Tank. Yeah. TMM on the tank. Mm hmm. TMM, TMM for the tank. Here. Oh, the tank is a one. Um, <clears throat> and you're short. So that's four, and it's short range. Uh, so that is uh, one. Mm -hmm. So no, five. Short range is zero. Oh, yeah, there's, zero. No, there's nothing okay. to add. Yeah, so four. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> God damn it. We don't want to spend a point, right? <clears throat> no. We don't want to spend a chip on that. For burnout? Probably. Do we want to? Well, I mean, we could. I mean, it's five points of damage. It might. I mean, are you firing, are you firing on the same target now? Yeah, but it's only one one more point. Okay. We're spending the chip on uh, burnout, burnout, and we're doing uh, five points. Okay. Uh, so two uh, TMM of one on the tank. And mm -hmm. it is medium range. Medium, probably. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't think that's, no. Can you measure? It's yeah. definitely not. Okay. Oh, it's just out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's two. So that is five. Uh, six. No. Yes, six. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, so that is six points. Give me a crit. Seven. Seven on that table is is between the legs. No critical hit. Yeah. Even tanks have legs. Well, that's basically what a battle mech is. Yep. Over to you. Okay. It's the flash man. God damn it. Um. The strong is going to go after the asp, so we know it is. Uh, medium range. Four plus one for cover, plus medium range is two. TMM one. Six sevens. No. No, not this time. Not uh, this time, Sturm Fuhr. The Spartan is going to go after Samira. So that is three plus uh, cover is one. What's the TMM? Two. Two, four, six, eight. Always a surprise. Yes! No! The Von Luckner is also doing that, and it will also be an eight. Is he within 24? I would assume so. Yes. All right. Yeah, he is just on the lip of it. Doesn't matter. Nothing. 
<clears throat> Perfect. It's a whole lot of nope. All right. Are you so now we are moving into round two? Yes. Well, let's let's. I'm not gonna say anything. I see now. Yeah. Uh, Quickman, obviously, you have been missed. Ah, seven to your six. six to seven. It is what it is. I need that. I need that mobile HQ. I need the keywords. It is what it is, and by what it is, is shit. Is a bad roll. It's yeah. It's trash, actually, yeah. from a butt. Now, Get your uh, shit together. So. Uh, do we, this is, over here is a little bit more fraught, a little more tactical. Make a move over there. Yep, absolutely. We just use this one as a sop. I have eight inches to use. This is one play here. Or over here is pretty nice view of the whole field. Your funeral. Well, it, <laughs> I don't want to have a funeral. Going to get rid of a second mech here in the yeah. same fight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> this dude is crazy. This is wild chicken. Like these guys are going nuts. Okay. Gotta move. Uh, one. One. Smooth. in that forest. Hmm. All right, so now you got your Spartan and the Von Luckner. And then Keek's gonna have to move two mechs, right? Mm -hmm. It's Mexa go go. The blood ass, which is starting to look great. And Samira. Give me some ground tokens. Please. Absolutely. Nice. Get tucked away. Mm -hmm. All right. And because we lost initiative, we also fire first, correct? Mm -hmm. So no targets here? No. Actually, the um, Nova will go. Am I going to overheat? <coughs> well, he, can't, he can't see this, basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that. All right. Yeah, I was going to drop a dime on him. Overheat for two. Okay. And just every laser. So Nova starts with three. It gets... TMM uh, one on the tank is four. Uh, no... There is cover because you're in woods. Like trees, 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 trees. But so four plus... Plus one? Two. Five. Five. Yep. Oh, hey. six. Yeah, it's six. Way. Yeah, it's six. Uh, so that's seven points of damage. Woo! Woof! Just burst into the air as the, all the brush around sets on fire. Well, well, we'll have to handle that in a second. We'll have to deal with that. Obviously, that's a big part of the show, is yes. being good stewards. The stewards of the forest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three. 
or no, four mm-hmm. um, plus two for the range. Um, what's the TMM? Who are you firing at? Oh, one. Um, <clears throat> so that is uh, four, two, seven, seven. Oof, seven points. Give me a crit. Six. I think that is a crit. Six is no critical hit. Ah! Are there any critical hits at all? Okay. Uh, Flashman's up. Yep. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, I'll take a, a shot at the Spartan. So base is four. Mm-hmm. What's the TMM of the Spartan? Two. Okay. Uh, no wow. cover. Surprising. So six, eight is yeah. total. Whoa, that hits. Eleven. Thank goodness. Uh, please, please put four points of damage on the Spartan. Well, that you see the Spartan's head just blow up. <laughs> That's a giant head. Yep. So it just uh, collapses yep. back against. I would say like half of the torso explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just, there is just, no head. It's just all torso all but the way up. <laughs> it's firing back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so first the Spartan. So a three plus one for cover. What's the TMM on one. your one? Two, so five plus two sevens. Eleven points, and you suffer four points of damage. Eleven points of damage? Wow! Wow! This is the most powerful mech. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Sturmfreer is going to shoot you as well. Here at the here at the end. Here at the end of all things, you don't have cover, but that is. Uh, four plus two is six. Mm-hmm. Yep. six. Plus, plus one so for the what's happening? TMM. Plus one for the TMM is seven. Uh, this is the um, this. Oh, okay. I got st- it. Stern fear versus. That hits. That is another four points of damage. Uh, roll a crit, I guess. <laughs> My God, if it blows you up. No, no, it's not gonna blow me up. <sighs> <laughs> you gotta roll this crit. Well, it's, 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 there's no. <laughs> oh my god! Why? What? Stavrino, though. <laughs> the ruiner uh, of Max. You wanna spend a card to uh, eject? Yeah, just so yeah. I don't die and end the campaign? Also yes. Also, just uses all of the cards. No, there's one more. No, I mean, but you already used yours. You're now using other people's. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have to do that so that we can continue to play this game um, that I love so much. <laughs> David Novakath, this is your fault. What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> why, why not? Oh, isn't it basically a proto mech? There goes that, all the coffers. Because that has a different table. We're gonna have to leave one of these mechs here. Yeah, in pieces. <laughs> at, least, at least it'll pack up nice. No salvage to be had. <laughs> no. Well, yes, there is salvage. Um, now, I, I guess that's. I guess that round is done. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I'll have another very special episode when I come down. And <laughs> I'll check out a few more. I'll, I'll, I'll check out some of the restaurants. <laughs> There's a nice Airbnb, I'm sure, <laughs> that I could Stavron Otho could spend time in. Uh, initiative, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, you're out. So uh, I'm going to roll this. <laughs> yeah, why don't you? <laughs> okay. I Great job, Kiko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see the Von Luckner assess the situation, yeah, basically. Yeah, and uh, decide to... And it's uh, uh, <laughs> going off. It's running away. Okay. <sighs> I, I, I can't move any guys. <laughs> so the, the Spartan is dead There's and the Spear is dead. Is dead yes. So it, you guys are have to, you have to run after this thing. <laughs> I mean, we don't want it to go anywhere. And it's it's asses to you now. 
So we love, we just like this. Over the comms, uh, uh, <laughs> Roshan requests uh, further orders. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get you guys dialed in. I'm like, well, don't, don't let it leave. Yes, sir. <laughs> we don't know who it knows. <laughs> it might know other tanks from school. <laughs> who just one shot uh, Max. Yeah, uh, for free. That Stavron is uh, inside of. Yeah. Um, so you moved. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I guess they we're just going to beat feet. Yeah. Right, I got a good feeling about this. That tonight's going to be a, a good, good night. night. Well, it's going to be a good night for Black Remnant. It's not going to be a good night for this Von Luckner. We still have to hit it. Yeah, but uh, hit it multiple times. And we also have to quit it. Yeah. Um, shots? Yeah, you can get them. No, I mean... Uh, it can't shoot anything. Oh, it doesn't have a 360 turret? Uh, actually, it does. It's, it does, but its long range is... Oh, well, you're in medium uh, you're, you're in medium you just You just crit and uh, insta kill insta the map. So you should mech. absolutely take these shots. So four... That's yeah. still medium. You're great. So four plus uh, no cover. Uh, plus th uh, two for medium. So six. Mm -hmm. It does three points of damage. Six on the dot. Three uh, points to Samira. Okay. I'm telling you, this is the most. Give me a crit. <laughs> sure, you want to say that? Please uh, don't destroy any more of our mechs. Four. That is a fire control hit. Don't blow up any more of our fucking shit. Uh, Nova Prime's going to wipe heat. Okay. Uh, Timberwolf is shooting back at starting at the three, mm -hmm. and it is medium range, mm -hmm. so that is two uh, for five. Timberwolf has four. It's, it's uh, oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, because um, it's, so it's exactly. four, it's uh, six, TMM on the Luckner one. Uh, so that's seven, seven, seven. seven. Ooh. So that hits seven for points. Seven points of damage. So what happens to this fun Luckner? Um, uh, because of the uh, odd angle, yeah, it just slices the turret right off. <laughs> it can't actually target. No, it the, comes up through the yeah, bottom. It comes up through and just pries the whole tank open. Well, because it's driving at maximum yeah. speed mm -hmm. and then takes this angle shot. Yeah, it basically flips. Mm -hmm. It is um, sheared, and that's it for the Luckner. Okay, you have cleared the map. Oh, God. And some of your mechs. Yeah. All. 100% of my mechs. <laughs> uh, Tom, can we remove these this part of the table? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get some of my treasures. Don't take my shit. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> there you are. No fancy lighting for this transition. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I, I bet he's got some cool buttons. Could give us something crazy. Josh, go wild on it. <laughs> huh? I bet. I bet one of these. Oh, <laughs> you're just pull, just pulling levers back there. Yeah. Got some coins, chips. Here's your character sheet. Which, you got it all. You know. You know. Maybe. You know. I love what I'm seeing. Oh, and I'm so glad I was correct about my computer skill. <coughs> and acting. Yes. Acting is also a very important skill that he has. 
And then athletics for some reason. Just makes it easier for you to hop out of exploding mechs. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Just like in G.I. Joe. Yeah, Just right. In nick of time. Yeah, it was every that, time. that pause explosion. There's always that little ping. <sighs> well. <sighs> Alright, and so. So you are now on this uh, field of battle where two, not one, but two of your mechs. Uh, <laughs> one that you found. <laughs> yeah, it's like this was this was not even. It just caught a stray. Like this mech is not even doesn't even go here, and it's still. Getting, you conferred your curse upon yet yeah, another. Yes, mech exactly right. In the in a very short uh, amount of time. Yeah, I mean, in two the floor turns, is yours. in <laughs> two turns, I managed to destroy a second mech. I was making jokes about that. From the moment the game started, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I shouldn't have, and I learned an important lesson today. For, I was for, also making jokes, and I yeah. should have, and they well, were turned out and they great. Were hilarious yes. jokes, <laughs> actually. Hilarious, not just funny, but prophetic. <laughs> um, jokes that inspire. Um, anyway, so um, I'll wave down. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to invent Uber um, out here. But no, I'm, I'm gonna wave down just the a ship field of scattered black remnant parts. Yeah, just the remnants. <laughs> just the remnants. Okay. The smoking black remnants. Um, so I wave down. Yeah, the um, Calypso comes to the top of the hill, um, and you can see the bay doors open. Absolutely, yeah. So now it's like I don't. I, this place is so strange, and um, the, this place just gives me the creeps. Like having had a chance to go through and realize that large parts of it are actually just completely for show, just empty shells. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I want to. I, I need this to. I need this cleanup part. To go as fast as possible, mm -hmm. so um, I'm going to be directing the I'm going to be directing the Calypso basically to land by, like to land near the facilities where this where the it can only get enough headroom. Like it, 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 there's only enough space on this field to land on that upper strip. Oh, it just is what it is. It is what it. Yeah, you can't position this. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll be able to find <clears throat> equipment here to help get this stuff moved out because. I mean, they had to set all this stuff up fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully some of the the leavings of that industrial process are here. Okay. Lifts and um, vehicles, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to ransack as much as we can. The emphasis has to be on the stuff that we were sent to get. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Flashman is not in the same um, the. State that it was when I found it, but they don't know that. And um, I'll be happy to use my acting skill later in this very game um, to go into that. So, how are you uh, cleaning up these uh, <coughs> the remnants and getting the salvage? Yeah, I mean, I think that we're probably going to have to. I mean, my my hope is, like I say, we're watching Stavern do it by hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. It, I I'm bringing it, I'm bringing a level of artisanal craft to it. This is like this is like those videos that come on super late on TikTok. It's like rules are rules. Mm -hmm. In the future, the far future, there are such things as shovels still. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, I mean we're we're gonna be looking for the equipment that we need to move this stuff here. And like I say, it seems like they set this place up fast. There's gonna have to be moving equipment. Um um, you uh, around the battlefield, you can. I mean, you obviously see the remnants of the mongrel, yeah, that you could take with you. The and remnants that's, and that's up the, near the top, at least. Yep, hopefully, that's not too bad. The flashman down in the middle of the valley, yeah, you have the armor suits shaped, the armor, as, yeah, exactly. The armor suits and w whatever this that trip that heat sink you found yeah. as well, yeah, exactly. Um, other than that, everything seems to be a shell. Um, Oh, so they, they maybe over a long enough timeline they would have turned this into something a little bit more. Yeah, roll me a per, uh, elaborate like a perception check. Actually, whatever you'd like to use for that. 
Roshan will roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming Roshan's perception is better than Stavrin's. Um, That's probably going to be based on and uh, yeah, damn sure. And be my guess. Roshan uh, still has a mech, so he's got a vantage point. Mm-hmm. Here, um, so I rolled two ones, <laughs> and to that I'm going to add one for uh, actually two. Excuse me for my intelligence. So four. I should just go home. <laughs> Like at a certain point, I just gotta accept. Well, no, because this is good content. <laughs> is it <laughs> for us? I mean, it's a good time for us. I'm having a great time. <laughs> anyway, yes, I Chat, what two, do you think? Two ones on the dice, <laughs> um, and to which I add a two. It's not great. Um, I'm not proud of it, but it is what happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> okay, great. Glad to hear. No. Um, but yeah, hope, uh, Roshan hopefully, Roshan is will catch uh, surveying it. and. Um, he rolls at 12. Much okay, so Roshan, what you can see is mm-hmm. that um, from the scarring on other buildings, mm-hmm. that this is almost, um, it's like uh, tombs that have been raided over time. That there, oh, prob- there probably was um, other supply drops in this area, mm-hmm. but this what you found is all that kind of remains that hasn't okay. been picked over. Um. Uh, I relay that to Stavrin. Poor um, sons of bitches. That uh, this is... Scooped up. This is an old insulation that has been uh, raided and or scoured many, many times over. So the likelihood of us uh, finding anything of use is minimal. Outside of the targets that we have, which we've already identified and we can start shifting, we can start moving those up. Mm-hmm. As soon as we can, but yeah, I mean, any any tools and equipment that we might need from the Calypso, we'll just literally just bring them down the just down the paved hill, start picking things up and bringing them back up. Okay, just industrious, fast. I'm you know I'm watching the clock. Okay, you don't see any the um, are you having Roshan and ZZ do this? Yeah, wait, wait, do we like work on this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we everybody everybody has to do it because we we have to get out of here. Okay. Um, it, it, you can easily have it packed and uh, moved. Are you bringing both the remnants of the Flashman and the model? Yeah, well, because the Flashman is one of the three things we were supposed to get, so we we better bring all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can easily get it into the bay uh, with uh, ZZ and Roshan doing the heavy lifting. Okay. Yeah, and then the and obviously burnout is deposited the Nova, I'm sure, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's probably and it's probably back at the yoke. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the uh, <coughs> collection of the salvage um, went as quickly as possible, um, uh, and uh, everything is in their rightful place in the uh, bay, in the guts of the ship, mm-hmm. um, with some help from the um, uh, bots. No, there is no help from the bots. There is no help from the bots. Okay, is that true? Yep. You have, you receive no help from the bots. <laughs> Zero help. Zero help. Hey. <laughs> well, they did. I mean, they did. So, I mean, my my <laughs> guess is that. Well, here I'll definitely put a chip in, just because I think it's. I think that it's weird. So the the one thing that I neglected to mention before was that I had commandeered a communication system when I was loose. You spent the chip on that before. Oh yeah, no. This is this is for a new thing. Okay. Um, this is for a new scene. Um, and. So I had sent back to Oberon just like help, and then I went and continued to have my adventure. At the end of the session, essentially he had come through and done a field gun uh, flyby, and but because burnout was not in the vehicle, the what's clear now is that they can fly the entire vehicle autonomously without any help, and apparently without specific direction. So that's that's what this is for. What this is for is that when burnout gets into the cockpit, it's full of bots. It is full of bots. <laughs> but um, what burnout sees is they have all been fried. Fried? Yep. They are dead. What? What? But I mean, I have more chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, uh, with. Not all the nanobots are dead, just the ones okay. that were. In the cockpit. Flying. Oh, just the ones that the ones that had like hooked into the system, mm-hmm. and 
they managed to get it over here, but now they're cooked? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, man. And when, Stavron, when you walk on uh, to the into the bay, you see the nanobots, and they're all kind of in a circle. Well, yeah, I was going to say that they have these weird rituals. They have these like elephant graveyard rituals about these mm -hmm. other creatures. Yeah. Because there was no assistance from the bots, yeah. the salvage is actually um, forever. No, it is uh, uh, just strewn about. Oh. <laughs> just it's uh, the whole the Got whole it. mech bay is a mess. Mm -hmm. Like a in uh, where salvage shouldn't be. That's like, where salvage is. Yeah, like it all to the point to where like uh, some of the mechs aren't situated correctly. Oh, inside the inside bays. their bay, individual bays. Um, so it might not be a great idea to take off. No, right they're not now. strapped in. Yes. <laughs> um, and you see Oberon uh, surrounded by bots, and there are several bots that are laying lifeless on the on oh. the ground. Yeah, yeah. And so, and, and, so, and so this is these are the ones that Burnout had found. You don't know. Oh, okay. You, you, yeah, you don't know what Burnout's seen in the. Stavron doesn't know what Burnout has seen in the cockpit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I'll just I will sit at some point in the circle, okay, and just observe this because because he is already like I said last time like he is already a little nervous that they can apparently operate the ship. Yeah, and uh, autonomously, the printer bot comes up to you. Yeah, and so does Oberon, and it basically you hear you see the printout happen. And it says... I mean, I'm already reaching. As soon as I hear the whine, I'm reaching for it. Yeah, it says, uh, they will not drive the <laughs> ship again. Overload. Oh. All of these died to save you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll stand up. And then as you stand up, you hear burnout come walk out. He's like... Stafford, I got some of these things. They're kind of floppy right now. I just, I just turn around and I'm just like, I just give him the internationally recognized symbol for shut your fucking mouth. Like, hold up a hand. No, I, I, I'm going to reach out and I'm going to take them and I'm going to place them with the others. Oh, he's at the top of the bay. You're, oh you're, my you're, god, you're, it takes forever then. I have to walk all <laughs> And he's like, yeah, they're fucking crazy. They're, these things are funny when they die. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna, I, I gotta go up there and just hang on. I go all the way up the stairs. And then when I'm halfway up the stairs, he's like, I can bring him down. He comes down the other, <laughs> the other set and I'll meet him down at the bottom and I'll, I'll get him and I'll bring them over and place him in the other pile. Is it possible for the rest of the crew to not really get a sense about the exact autonomy of these things. Yes, um, I, I, as, I think I think in, that you guys have your own jobs. Whoa, 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 whoa. pass that puppy <laughs> over here. I guess like, it's not mine. Roshan doesn't give. No, he doesn't give. No, no. this is not part of his world right. at all. And like every now this, and then, something crazy happens. It's like a it's like a weird sovereign thing. Yeah, with it's these, just another with weird these thing. Little things in the corner, and like. It makes sense to me that um, that burnout would be like, what, there's a yeah, pile of junk a, in my Yeah, exactly. How did, chair. This, how did all this shit get in here? <laughs> yeah, and he's bringing him out. He's like, yeah, these got fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the extent of it. No one actually understands what's happening. And, you know, as we've described before, like, I have to manually remind them not to obliterate every living thing <laughs> on, the, on the ship. I yes. have to tell them specifically. I have to take pictures. And say, not this one. <laughs> Leave this one alive. <laughs> um, but no, but I'll absolutely bring them. I'm going to bring back the rest. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my curiosity is just going to be like what they do with it. But I mean, they don't need me here to be a part of this. I, they have their own thing, and God only knows. I just I don't even have claws. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't. <clears throat> it's like uh, he'll try for a little bit to to wave. Like kelp, it's, this is actually. I'm sure this is offensive. Yeah, Oberon turns his back on. You. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're trying to figure out like what a bird is saying. It's yeah. like not. It's rude. And Whatever they, you're they saying is rude. They go back to their funeral rites. <laughs> yeah. Well, here I'm gonna I'm gonna let them do that, and then I'm gonna come back in and just make sure one by one that each of the mexes is strapped into its own bay. 
and well, the, and the supplies um, are strapped down. Flashman and, and the well, uh, yeah, I mean, they, mongrel, they can probably fit into their own one single bed. Yeah, I mean, what's, yeah, what's I mean that's true. Bed, you know? Just in a pile. Yeah, they're just in um, a pile. Well, yeah, yeah, they're uh, you know as a liquid, <laughs> they they can maximize the volume, um, you know, inside the bay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a more condensed mass. Yes, exactly. But no, it's it's all it's all <laughs> very efficient. Yeah, it's all strapped. It's all strapped down. <coughs> good. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a pinata essentially. Like it's not going anywhere now. It's just a it's just a pile of it's just a random assemblage of it's a lot of cross contamination limbs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's 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 stood too long in the danger zone. Um, I'm sure you, I'm sure you still have to get a dining a food service card. Even in the grim darkness of the inner sphere, <laughs> that's probably the darkest part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the darkest timeline. Yeah, but but, but I, I get everything strapped in, set up, magnetized, and uh, one, once once that's once that's clean, I'm going to close the external barrier doors, and we're going to head back to the the cicerone. Okay. Um. Bernal uh, launches, uh, takes off, and can easily get you back to the port. Um, yeah, he knows and, how. Yeah. Um, who is going with you, or are you going alone? I mean, I have gone. I have. I typically do these sorts of things solo. Um, I, I did in the past. I mean, I don't know how skittish they are, but I'll probably just end up going back. All right. Uh, Roshan, you see Stavron leave the. The ship. Um, uh, <coughs> typically, that is the cue for both Zigzag and Roshan to start patching up the damage from the previous fight, which is typical. Yeah. Um, and uh, slowly separating uh, salvage that is now intermixed. Yeah. Uh, which is making uh, the task. Difficult. All right. You know, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> so uh, they get started uh, patching up uh, the mechs, the working mechs first. Yeah, yeah. The, the, so, the, the part that can actually function. It's going to be two million per mech. So that's the Timberwolf, the Nova. Uh, I mean, two million if you want to do the mongrel. Two million for the blood asp. Actually, there was no nothing, no damage on the mo- nova, was there? The nova's clean. Yeah, nova's clean. The nova is um, factory fresh. It has it has the little uh, freshener dangling. Yep. And then two million for the flashman as well. So it's eight million total from your budget if you want to repair all. Yeah, I mean, we have to be need mechs. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> Do mechs, um, but I mean, like I say, I I had I remember like putting together the deal exactly, but I don't remember the you the particulars you, of it. Um, and this doesn't count the flashman or the mongrel. Oh, it it does. If if you want to repair the flashman, yes, it's not us to want. Yeah, <laughs> so it's two. It's two for the timberwolf, two for the blood ass, two for the mongrel. Okay. That's six. So six total. And the, the deal that you had um, somehow managed to to pull off, pull off. There was a roll. Was that at the end of everything, you would get the um, dragon fire for I, I believe it was four hundred and seventy thousand. Yeah, exactly. Like it was like a, a subset of a subset, mm-hmm. <clears throat> which was a pretty a pretty strong trade across. And I think that that's why when we're considering which ones to repair. It's like we might just field the dragon fire instead of the mongrel, Correct. right? And so the the mongrel, I'll just send a message back to the I'll send a message back to the calypso that says hold off on repairing the mongrel. So four mil total, yeah, exactly. Because if I'm going to roll back in there with the with a brand new well, dragon so fire for four seven, you've got, then, yeah, timberwolf, not the and mongrel, the and okay, so you're doing the asp and the timberwolf, not the flashman and the. Mong. Yeah, uh, exactly. And the mongrel. Okay. So four mil just to repair the asp and the yeah. um, timberwolf. Timberwolf. And there might be something there might be something particular about this flashman. Did we end up getting any salvage? <laughs> any sea bills? No, for the, the really salvage? Was, there really wasn't <laughs> much left on that. That that uh, facility had been picked over. 
No, uh, previously um, we were negotiating uh, for the salvage, but I don't think we ever. No, we did. With the, the, no, that, that's how you were able to. That's get, how we were able that's to. Part that's of, part oh, of that was a, a part of. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So. That's part of. Uh, it's like Omni Gel. Mm-hmm. It just that just came as part of the deal. Because mm-hmm. <coughs> remember, originally the Cicerone wanted the um, bounty hunter's emblem, but exactly. you wouldn't give it to him. No, no. <coughs> so but I was Staff- able to pull off another deal. Stavern made another deal. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I think we're down to twelve mil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And but plus this this the mech is is was really the the valuable thing. Because mm-hmm. eventually we can, if we need to, we can move the mongrel. Um, the mongrel was always like a a fill in mech between the claim jumper and the mm-hmm. and the mongrel down to ten mil. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can easily make it back to the cicerone, and uh, as the doors part, you're in the bay again, and you see the blood ass before you, and a you know cadre of different armaments. Uh, Around yeah. on display, and, and, and it, it, it's still his. Um, it's rustic hardwoods. Mm-hmm. It's a, it is the elite of the elite mm-hmm. sales experience. Yes, yes. There's a like a bonsai. Yeah, you know what I Come mean. On. It's <laughs> over by, over by the desk. Yeah. <clears throat> this incense burning. Um, he offers you, you know, Murphy's oil soap. Yeah, you you have two or three beers to choose from. Oh, nice. He's, he's got to do it his way, right? He's got to do it his way. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd, that's great. We make beer from garbage on the ship. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd be, I would love to see what beer made from grains is like. I bet that's real. Both beer and garbage. I and bet ramen from garbage. Yes, yeah, exactly. We have, we have garbage ramen. We have industrial <laughs> runoff in our poutine. Um, rubber, rubberized filings. And um, <laughs> lubricant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Savory lubricant, uh, but no, but I mean, I'll absolutely take advantage of. I'll I'll take two actually. I'll just I'll take two of the different beers, and I'll just I'll start working on them. Uh, excellent. It's, it looks as though uh, you had a successful mission. Well, I mean, <laughs> when was, can I expect uh, delivery of the of the boxes? Uh, I say, yeah. I mean, you can you can accept delivery of these crates um, at, at a moment's notice. Mm-hmm. Uh, two crates and the and a flashman. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, the flashman. A box full. Of flashman. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> exactly, it's essentially a box. Um, the flashman did sustain some damage um, upon removal. It was quite a strange facility we were sent to. What do you mean? What What do you mean sustained damage? I mean, I feel like that's the industry standard terminology. Um, uh, but obviously, like, like you ding the paint job, I get it. I mean, that happens. No, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And I say, and, and as a result, I mean, that's something that I'd like to, uh, I would like to repair that. That's that's not going to come back to you at all. Right. I'd like to make that repair, and then I'll we'll be delivering that shortly. So, but the two crates, the two crates can be delivered today. Okay, so you'll deliver the flashman to me. I will walk the flashman repaired. directly into your facility. Uh, yes. Okay. And I say I need to make a. I need to send a message real quick, and then I'm just gonna. <laughs> the message that I send back to the Calypso says, "Flashman priority repair." <laughs> and that, then how much? How many mil was two that? Mil. It's two. two. Mil. <laughs> and then I just, I just turn. I just, I put as many exclamation points as it will handle, and then I hit it and say, All And right. then a prayer emoji. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, breathe a sigh of relief, take another sip of this, uh, take another sip of these incredible uh, ales mm-hmm. that he's got uh, on delivery. And I say, you know, and obviously while we're, um, while we're getting all that all set up, I mean, I'll be able to walk that uh, flashman right back over here to you. Uh, that's going to make that's going to make room in the bay for the dragon fire, and then I, I think our business will be concluded, at least for now. I think we were able to deliver a great result, and I'm hoping we can uh, we can work on some uh, you know work on you know additional projects. I, yeah, I set the beers down, come up, use do the air quotes, pick the beers back up. Uh, what do you mean delivery of the dragon fire? Well, I mean the dragon fire that we discussed. Mm-hmm. 
um, as being the primary avenue of payment. Oh, 100%. Yeah, this. we'll have it for you. We don't have it here, but we'll have it for you. I saw it here. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, what you saw... I, I'm going to go over to this. Yeah. Is this, is this like the buildings? Is it like a hollow, empty shell? <clears throat> I'm going to go over. It's like the... The British coast before uh, the D-Day landings. It's just a balloon. Oh, pretend. It's just a painted balloon. Yeah, exactly. Of a dragon fire. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm just gonna go over and just <laughs> knock briefly on its steel thigh. It, your hand goes through it. It's a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> it's just decor. I'm looking. So now I'm looking around, and it's like obviously the emitters are here. <laughs> Say really? <laughs> what? I, I would have assumed that you would know that this was a hologram. Anybody coming in here would know. I w probably wouldn't store. They would come this in. They would come into your here. showroom. Yes. Onto your sales floor. Yes. And assume that they were looking at a, a light, a light show. Yes. Why would I? Why would I keep that? Why would you keep expensive? mechs inside your mech store? I don't know. That's <laughs> that is crazy. Now that I think about it, you're right. That's weird. Yeah, I, I agree, a hundred percent. And that's why we keep those off planet because we don't want them stolen. Much like uh, what is well, going I on. mean, uh, uh, honestly, given given the events of the last few hours, there there may be something to that. Somebody, some sort of brigand, blackguard, or ne'er do well might roll in Who and can't steal a mech. Hologram <clears throat> emitters. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> so, um, I say, well, I mean, I assume that. I assume that delivery uh, is not an additional charge. Well, I mean, it's added into the price. I mean, do you want? Where do you want delivered uh, to? I assume that delivery is not an additional price. Where do you want delivered to? I, if if it's going somewhere <sighs> remote, we got to talk about specific pricing. If it's if it's only a couple plants away, that's a different thing. Do you have Prime? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we have a Nova Prime. I mean, does that does that does that come with Prime? Is that how it works? <clears throat> I say. I mean, Solaris, Solaris Seven for the games. I assume you. I assume this is not the first time you've moved a piece of hardware like this there. Oh no, we could easily deliver it to Solaris. I mean, it'll cost you probably an extra two hundred. No, thousand no, that's miles. actually incorrect. Now, the first part where you were going to do it is correct. We're, all we want to talk about, we just want to make a little bit of a change to the last part. It sounded like you said a number. Uh, no, is that a number of C bills? Yes. I assume there's not going to be additional charge for shipping. Yeah, but you, I mean, I don't know why you would assume that. When shipping through, you know, using jump ships, it costs a certain amount of money. Um, you've paid X amount for this mech. You're paying a drastically reduced cost. I, surely you couldn't expect me to give you free shipping if you wanted to have this thing sent to Solaris 7. Thank you for the raid, Dom. <laughs> well, he's going to pay in beer. You're just gonna drink all of his. Beers. He's he, he's he's gonna just gonna he's gonna pay. Fall over on the way back. <clears throat> to the he is gonna pay, one way or the other. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean I just to find where the tap is. Yeah, you can easily. Oh yeah, I, I'm just gonna live here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stretch out like I live in the place. Uh, <laughs> sure, you okay? <laughs> I, I'm on a trajectory. To be better than I've ever been. You can see it. You can watch it. You can be a part of it. I'll give. I'll, I'll give him one. Say, listen. You can. You can get on my level. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm good. <laughs> um, but when can I expect the flash ban and the rest of the uh, salvage too? Is that I mean, a mech, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Whoa. We had an accord here. Oh, it feels so good. I might have overdone it. I gotta, I gotta sit down. Is this a real mech? No. Oh, your God damn it. Bust through. Fuck. All right. Well, 
I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand like in the leg and like mm -hmm. bend a little bit. And I'm like, can you see me if I'm in? I'm gone. Where did you go? See, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta get one of these. This is actually really fun. Now, you were saying something about a flashman. Yes. Yeah. The salvage. Uh, yes. Oh, absolutely. From uh, the soon. Mission. Pretty soon. Right. It's it's all fine, right? So it should be. Oh coming. yeah. You should, you should oh, be able to God. deliver it's it within better than the day. Fine. It's better than fine. I mean, honestly, you should have it like, by end of day. That I would assume. I don't know. Is there an extra charge for shipping? No, I would not assume so. You're only bringing it from the ship to here. No, no, I'll no, come no. And get it. No, no. This is where you, you got it. You got me fucked up. You got no. You're doing it the other way. You want this by tonight? Yes. I want no shipping. I don't understand why you can't deliver this right away. It should be just in your cargo bay, correct? I don't want to. You made me mad before, and now I don't want to do it. So, I can bring it to you tonight, and I can pay no shipping. <laughs> tonight, no shipping. You can make me a check. What do you want to use for your check on this? <laughs> <laughs> this is probably negotiation, is my guess. Mm -hmm. Six. Six plus three is nine. Okay. Um, does, does this madness somehow hypnotize him? Well, I think it probably it probably works done. because he's tired of it. Yeah, exactly. I've been doing it for a while. He's just, he just gives in. <clears throat> yeah. It's like. <laughs> It's like a toddler, okay. Like you are so outside of his normal clientele yeah. that this is just tiresome at this point. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so he says, okay, fine. <laughs> Bring the mech here tonight. As we've discussed, you you have that and the uh, two other salvages that you found. Yeah, 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 the rest of our salvage stuff. And yeah, I sure. won't charge you for the shipping of the Dragonfire too. Finally. <laughs> I shake, I put my hand out to shake, but it's... It's not where I expect the hand to be, but I still shake it. It's a little mm -hmm. bit to the left. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure doing business. And I get back to the Calypso immediately because it's we all have to work on this, this Flashman very fast. You see like two arms, torso, and like a blown out <laughs> center. <sighs> well, I mean, it, it might not be Roshan, it might see, not be perfect. You see uh, Stavron walk in. <laughs> what we want is the paint. The, the paint has to be immaculate. Is... There's a giant hole in the center of the torso. Yeah. Paint isn't going to fix that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, obviously, we can't, we can't paint the hole. Before Stavron even enters the hold, uh, Zigzag meets him... Um, at the on doorway, the, on, on the, with at the hatch. a list of uh, parts needed to finish the Flashman, it doesn't even say anything; just hands it to you. All right, I just take it and then I just <laughs> spin. In a, I just spin in a circle, <laughs> get a cart from in there, and now this is going to be Stavron's Zigzag shopping adventure. Has done. Zigzag has done everything possible with uh, everything that, that we is have. in the yeah. uh, mech bay. And now we need extra and, shit. And now we need uh, yeah. uh, several plates of uh, armor, some internals. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a cockpit. <laughs> yeah. Some some cockpit. Um, but no, that's. I'm just going to... Uh, immediately start shopping for the rest of the things that they. <laughs> yeah, you can find several scrap yards. One, um, one uh, of the uh, workers looks at your list. And says, what are you just building a whole mech from scratch? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not not building a mech from scratch. Um, I'll tell you that much. Um, here's here's the stuff I need. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that. I mean, it seems like. Nothing super crazy here. No, no, I can. We we can get you all of this. I mean, it's going to cost you, but we can get well, it. Well, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I mean, it was. That's typically how it works, right? It's going to take some time. <laughs> nuh uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, it's it's going to it's going to it's going to get there tonight. We have a shipment coming in tomorrow, <laughs> uh, with that shipment coming in, we'll be able to 
get the rest of these parts. <laughs> right, I have to. I, I, I say, I say, well, that's. I can't do that. Um, I, yeah, I sort of need it on a different timeline. Sir, there's nothing we can really do. I mean, the parts aren't here, planet side. I don't know if you want to imagine parts into being. If that's uh, but would, that, would that save me money? <laughs> all I can do is sell you parts. I, I can reserve these parts for you, but when they make the for uh, when they make landfall, we can get them over this to your bank. This is the only fucking <laughs> store here. This, this is the last. I'm starting, I'm starting to look around. This is the like, last. You've you've got you've. This is the last store on your list. You've gotten to the other stores. Oh, oh, oh I see. So I've, like, I've been able to pick up most of my stuff. Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Do you have paper mache and chicken wire? Yes, exactly. Lots of it. <clears throat> no, that's that's what I need. We're <laughs> we're gonna fill this thing with chupa chups. <laughs> Kids are gonna love this thing. It's gonna be great. They're gonna come up and whack on it with sticks. <laughs> Candy's gonna come out. Um, I'm looking at this stuff, and I'm just gonna say. Uh, what time tomorrow? Uh, I can't guarantee a, a specific time, but it will probably land uh, early uh, morning. We'll have to do an inventory, uh, make sure everything testing, make sure everything's testing and working properly. Uh, we could probably get it to you by late afternoon. His eyes are just wide. I mean, he's still he's he's not sober yet. <laughs> He just can't believe it. And I'm like, let's look at this list again together and just agree that I need the things that are on it. I need, like, what are the second and third choice parts? Hmm. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? I mean, I just want things, even if I have to sand the edges, I just want hmm. things that are going to fit <laughs> in this chassis. Uh, sir, these are highly specified parts. Um, but yeah, that's why I have to sand them. <laughs> they won't I mean, fit otherwise. You could sand these and make it look like it's a, a yes. real. Yes, yes. <laughs> now you're picking up what I'm putting down. But this is Thank not going to, they're not going to be operational for your needs. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, I think I hear what you're saying. Why would you want to do that? Well, because this, this mech is not. This is not going to see combat. This is. This You're is creating a museum. Yeah, exactly. Huh. <laughs> yeah. No. No. We're, this is. It's to teach young people about um, mechs. <laughs> and you think by building a fake mech that that's going to. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I certainly don't want children driving around battle mechs. I mean, I think that that's. I think we can all agree that that's. And I'm just going to look at someone else who is like in the shop. I'm like, that's crazy, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, that's nuts. I mean, it's Why would anybody nuts. do that? No, no. Uh, how no. Bad, like so? Uh, just for people who are not familiar with the BattleTech universe, how common are mechs? They're not. They're not that common. <laughs> so no, this they're, is they're completely like preposterous. Yeah. yeah, they're like they're <laughs> the like, fact that you they would can be, be like heirlooms. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. But the fact that the fact that you would use it at, <laughs> not for a um, oh yeah, mil like a militarized purpose right. is boggling. Is, is it's, boggling this guy's no, mind? No, it's like a tr it's like a traveling. It's it, it's a it's a. This is you know. This You've is, got tw almost twenty million C bills just, standing there that are, is going to just be a. Paperweight. So well, Wild Bill Hill kick auction. <coughs> no, but you're making Andy Oakley. But hitting, you're making a lot of money. This is you're not you're not thinking about this the whole way. You're making a lot of money on the merchandise. No, but I would be tours. making a lot more money if I was getting you the parts. Yes, I, I can see that, but you can't get me the parts. You I can see get the them right free tomorrow. Why do you need them today? Because I told a bunch of lies. <laughs> And now I'm in a lot of trouble. That seems, like, that seems like a you problem, not a me problem. But I agree. I agree. But if you can't help me with my me problem, now we have a problem. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm in real Listen, trouble here. Listen, I'll sell you whatever you want. So you know, if, if you don't want the real parts, I'll give you something that's going to fit in the place. Now we're talking. Just anything you have laying around. All right. Well, is it possible that uh, Stavern would even imagine that he could strip 
his existing mechs to make this thing work just for temporary sake. <laughs> It's a lot of custom stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah maybe. Let's let's see. Let's 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 <laughs> let's put it to a roll. <laughs> if Stafford <clears throat> would even think that that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I'll, I'll do. I'll <clears throat> use my my gunnery skill. I'll be thinking about how the mechs put together, right? That's a bad roll. Seven. Plus eight is fifteen. Yeah, you. It does occur to Stavrin. <laughs> okay, so so he's like, so we have to gut our other. That's actually really funny, awesome. That's actually kick ass. So while he's having this conversation with him and breaking down, <laughs> he's eventually going to get to the point where. Well, he's no, you're like, going to have to come tomorrow to get the poor the kids the parts for his his actual mechs. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. But tonight, <laughs> tonight, tonight. <laughs> We are going to be <laughs> retrofitting some. <laughs> we're going to be. So they just got done fixing the existing mechs. <laughs> and I'm going to come back with the rest of the parts. <laughs> and then I'm going to say, all right, uh, new plan. Slightly new plan. Same plan. <laughs> we're still fixing mechs. <laughs> all right. We're still actually repairing battle mechs, but we got a little twist. A little twist. A little something special. Ask me what it is. <laughs> zigzag. So, <laughs> zigzag just says, <laughs> I'm not re repairing these mechs. Good. I'm not asking you to. <laughs> um, I got you a bunch of the stuff that zigzag you wanted. Zigzag has already connected the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got you a bunch of stuff that you wanted. So, really. <laughs> Good job, Stavrin. I think is <laughs> is that's what I hear um, when you say things like that. But the rest of the stuff we need is going to have to come from <laughs> from where. Say it. <laughs> uh, pro- probably the blood asp. I mean, <laughs> and maybe uh, some, might have, some of it might have to come from Samira, and some of it. Might have to come from Sean here's Samira's name. <laughs> the Nova. <laughs> and some of it might have to come from the parts of the mongrel that I have. I bet some of that stuff's still good. I We're look over starting. it. It's un- it's it's like unrecognizable. Zigzag doesn't say a word. She just walks over to the mongrel salvage. Yeah. And starts gutting it, rifling through it. <clears throat> um Basically, getting as much out yeah, of the mongrel yeah, out salvage. Of, yeah, out of that first. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mostly not because she doesn't want to well, dismantle no. any she of the did a bunch current, of work. the the now pristine no. mechs. Uh, mostly just personally because it's your mech. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's like, look, I, I appreciate how however she <laughs> however she feels about it. She's it's still happening. And that mongrel wasn't going to be doing much today anyway. So she is gutting, and and cruelly. I mean, it's just like big, no. wide yes. cuts. <laughs> just let cuts just with, turning not that, lean cuts. Turning that salvage into rubble. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And so we're pulling it. So it, the, it's, the, the the mongrel pile is getting lower the, and lower. No, the two for the mongrel is increasing rapidly as yeah. you watch her. Uh, uh, just. You know, uh, yeah. Dismantle these parts, uh, <clears throat> and uh, how much, how much of the sal- the remaining salvage, uh, can come from the mongrel? Uh, about half. You're gonna have to okay. salvage it from another. All right. One of the other. Um, ha- half's good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Including including the 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 parts that Stavron could get, uh, plus the mongrel. Plus the mongrel. We still need another. Um, we still need some uh, more. A some half of that small portion. Some tender vittles, of, yeah. and, I, and I say, and and, and, <clears throat> and here's the great part. <laughs> I've got replacement parts for everything. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ZZ uh, goes over to the uh, Nova and uh, is there, uh, what can we strip down from Nova? You could probably take the cockpit. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, the start cockpit's to... not in a good place. <laughs> no, the Nova's... The Nova oh, the is Nova's perfect. actually... Oh, yeah. Yes. No, I mean, the, I mean the cockpit in the... Oh, yeah. No, ZZ chooses the Nova the because room. there wasn't any work necessary yeah. to it <clears throat> recently. Yeah, to undo. Yes. Right. Um, uh, so she calls over uh, Roshan and they start um, unbolting the the uh, necessary parts to pull the the cockpit yeah. internals from the Nova um, and they start the refit. And the refit begins. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> and then obviously tomorrow, I mean they're not ready to hear it now, but tomorrow <laughs> new parts coming in from this other guy <coughs> tonight. Um, every now and then I'll come down and see if there's something I can do. <laughs> because you're terrible. <laughs> yeah, and and, and, and and like wander around the the feet, look up, like you know, nod, like hmm, hmm, and then uh, I'll, I'll just I'll ask up. I assume that uh, Zizi's in her cradle contraption, mm-hmm. sort of hanging around, and I say, I, I mean, I'm I'm handy with a, a wrench, Zizi. I mean, Zizi I just ignores you. <laughs> I know which I know which one it is. <laughs> it's that one. No, all right. <laughs> so uh, time passes and dusk starts to settle in, and you, Stavrin, just hear laser fire on the outside of the ship, and, and all you what? hear, Mister Alpha, what? Mister Alpha, what? Is a horse? What? And Is you, Mr. Ed? You just you just hear laser fire just what bat- the, like shooting this. I, I'm gonna look at the external cameras. What the fuck? You see Oberon shooting at the Cicerone. <laughs> oh no! Here no, no no. <laughs> right. I'm gonna put a message out. Say no no not that one. <laughs> that one can live. For now, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yep. And then you just you just see the Cicerone outside. <laughs> yeah, hands in the air with a with a uh, clipboard. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, so I'll, I'll hit the button, open the. I'll hit the button and uh, open the hatch. Uh, okay. Yeah, I say, sorry. We have a we installed a new security system and it's it's still a little bit twitchy. That's obviously that's on me. I'm glad that, um, I'm glad that you're mostly intact. You, so am I. Right. I didn't know this was how you greet people you do business with. Well, uh, I mean, again. Uh, We've done a lot of business with a lot of people, and you know, sometimes they get shot when they mm-hmm. come to the ship. I mean, I. Oh yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, K- yeah. kill the people that you're trying to negotiate with. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I'll have to try that tactic. It's, when it's a novel form of negotiation. I'll, I'll give you that. Now, uh, so how can I help you? Oh, I was just here to collect the <coughs> flashman. Oh, and, no, no, and no, 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 we're, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be walking it over there. No, no, no. Well, we've, as we discussed, it, as we've, we discussed, we've already come. We, I have a. As we discussed. <coughs> oh yeah, I don't know. and he's just like looking, and he's like, "Seems like you're missing some parts on some of your other mechs. It's uh, fascinating." Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, we we do a full inventory um, after a mission, and so having returned back, <laughs> you do a, you, we strip them all down <laughs> to the core components. Yeah, yeah. We after uh, every engagement. <laughs> no, it's a that's. That's the Black Remnant way. <laughs> um, you know, for for us, it's like you know we want to make sure that you know when we go downside, we want to make sure that we are, uh-huh. um, yeah, that we're getting every ounce of performance out of these mechs, and right. that means does the um, does greasing the up greasing up a, every part. A so. Nova cockpit in it? What? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean it's good. It, it has the the correct cockpit, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I mean, you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, we've done, we've done this a million times. This is not for us. This is normal. Wait, why is it? I thought you said there wasn't even damn. What? What the hell? Oh no, no, no. Uh, understand this. When I said that it wasn't damaged, I mean that it wasn't damaged by me. What do you mean by by you? What? Yeah, I'm saying that we did not damage it. It was damaged by others. <laughs> it's all. I mean, it's all very straightforward. I mean, I feel like that's. I feel like I was clear, uh, sir. You said you said that you would be returning to this to me undamaged and in good. Well, yeah, but condition. you. But you've, you're interrupting me. I mean, obviously, it's going to be. You're going to have it tonight. 
And you're going to love it. You're going to love the way it looks. <laughs> or I'm not Stavronotho. Roll to see if you're Stavronotho. Stavronotho. I'm Stavronotho. That was actually a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, no, God. Oh, why? Mm. It's, 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 he's torn apart. You're going to like the way you look. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guarantee it. I mean, I could just collect it now. I mean, you, you, you just said you can't though. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. It's my <laughs> equipment. Wait, I, I, we I, made a deal. I, well, yeah, but the deal is for me to give it to you whole, and that's what's happening right now. Just listen. Just get a double espresso. Okay. Well, can I at least get the other uh, salvages? Oh, of course, one hundred percent. Okay, great. Absolutely. We yeah, can uh, we can load those onto my. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and I'll help. And I'll help. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too <laughs> proud to. I'm not too proud to help. You ain't too proud of bag. No, okay. sweet And so that gets loaded on. Yes, exactly. He so goes he, around he, and inspects he doesn't, it. He doesn't. He doesn't leave empty-handed. He, he presses the button, inspects the uh, cube of the um, heat sink, and then he presses the button. Uh, looks in. So he's basically using a, a system similar to the one that they had, like a diagnostic type system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, uh, "Why is there one of these shells missing? There should have been five in shells." Here. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to go over and and look at it. Yeah. Because remember, because I, I I used I used my computer skill to strip out any surreptitious access that was made to these things. Because remember, I have never seen inside any of these things. I don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. Happy to act. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, there uh, seems to, uh, there seems to be missing uh, a component here. That's. That's news to me. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, so he's actually hitting buttons and opening them up. And I'm yeah. like, well, now if you're opening them up here, I can look, right? Yeah. You see what's there. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I have seen it before, but but I'm very surprised. You want to use your acting on that one? Well, I don't want to, but if <laughs> I have to, I will. <laughs> he. <clears throat> oh. Eleven. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so you're saying what you're saying is these haven't been tampered with to the best of your knowledge. I that... took a I, I took a job. I'd say that I'd say that the the place where there's a significant uh, difference, perhaps from expectation, is probably the giant hole um, in the flashman. Just immediately redirecting his attention to this other thing. Obviously, this is you know, like I said, I, I'm I'm paying for all the repairs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm giving you exactly what you sent us out to get. When it comes to these other things, the less I know, the better. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I appreciate your, um, you know, discretion and not opening up uh, what uh, we were looking for. Uh, this will be noted uh, <coughs> and uh, sent out across our network. I say, well, I say, seventy percent of our business is return business. So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I just love to say everything I've ever heard in a sales <laughs> program. <clears throat> and so it's like, you know, obviously we're, um, you know, we, we move from place to place. Anything that your network requires, anything that you are uh, looking to pick up, anything you have your eye on, um, you might find that we're there already. How, wait, you're going to beat us to our own... What do you know that we don't? We move around. I'm just, I'm just saying we move around. We tend to find ourselves in interesting places mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, quite no, often. Noting. <laughs> noting. Uh, please have the flashman delivered to <coughs> the bay uh, by the end of this evening. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's, what was, that's what was promised, and that's what you'll get. And they, he uh, walks away with his uh, salvage behind Absolutely. <sighs> Let's shake it out. Um, head back in, hit the button. Um, and I say, ZZ, it's done! <laughs> I, was, I was offering to help. This is incredible news. <laughs> what a blessing. I kiss, the th I kiss this thing's leg. Moi. Um, Lips full of paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toxins. <laughs> Lead. So she, she managed to do something... Impossible. Uh, ...that would normally take weeks, you know, a week or two to repair. Uh, 
So the Flashman looks good. <laughs> there are some, maybe some wires and some things kind of maybe misplaced. Um, it's not showroom material, but... Um, hopefully no one will watch the gate as you... Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the gate of the walk of this map. Yeah, it's, it's a little funky. <clears throat> um, but here, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just climb. I'll just climb up in it. If it's done, then I'll probably beat him back to his office. Mm-hmm. In in like uh, the was it society of uh, yeah, it's sort of a <laughs> silly fog, walks. Yeah, kind yeah, of it's thing. a foghorn leghorn <laughs> sort of situation. Yeah. He's spinning and twisting. Make me a piloting. <laughs> you bet. Oh god. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, this, this is this is gonna be like pi- not piloting the Calypso. This is like yeah, yeah okay. Well, you, there's piloting no, battle. Do Mac. you have piloting? You should have piloting. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was in gunnery. Oh well there is gunnery, but there's mm-hmm. also piloting. Uh no, I don't have piloting. Is it, gunnery is uh, for some reason I thought gunnery was a combined skill. No. Um, your, your rating would probably be uh, one worse, yeah. yeah. Oh, I have something, but I'll actually use gunnery too. Yeah, here, if, if, if I'm using gunnery, then we we came out of this okay. In fact, if we're using gunnery, I match, so it's evil, it's equal. What's your gunnery? What seven? Oh, okay, rating five plus attribute, yeah, sure. Okay, um, so you are driving, but you you can't see it, it's clunking and clunking and clunking. And you can't see the, step, the steps. The steps a little loose. Yeah, the Cicerone is easily outpacing you at this point. But, <laughs> Just um, limp you're, along. you're able to keep. <laughs> no, the I'm, mech all I'm trying to operable. do. Yeah, all I'm trying to do is make it as smooth as possible. And if that means going slow, <laughs> then that's fine. <laughs> yep. Um. But you do you do get it to the Cicerone's uh, Establishment. showroom, perfect, um, and it's taken in, and the Cicerone's there. He's like, said, "Thank you uh, for the delivery of the product." Of course, of course, anytime. Let's let's uh, don't be a stranger. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? For now, I think we're we're finally in a position to go where we've been meaning to go for a while, um, but let's keep in touch. Uh, sure. Uh, we're about to. We're about to. I mean, the the fantasy is we're about to make a splash uh, in the games. Mm-hmm. So I think I have. Uh, After we spend another day here getting buying yeah, more parts. Yes, exactly. I say I have a I have a young pilot that I think is is really something special. I, th- I think this is going to be a. I think this kid's going to be a household name. We just got to give in front of people. That sounds great. Yeah, and I say it's just, it's a line of work that um, you cross paths with a lot. So uh, my hope is that you know we'll be able to uh, rely on you for equipment in the future. Oh yes, please look us up. We'll be able to help. Absolutely. So I, I want to get out of here before the before it falls over. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I, I leave him with everything that he needs, and then I I, you know, I walk out the door, and when it closes, then I run. You sprint. Yeah. <laughs> Like a long, like a leopard, like a long gait. As if you are not easy to get a hold of. <laughs> You're like the T-1000. Yeah, yeah. The hands are out with the blades. And I'm just like, chip, 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 chip. <laughs> I, run, I run all the way home. The lights, the, the street lights came on. I have to go home. It's time. <laughs> and you easily get back to the clip show. Yes. <laughs> In record time, mm-hmm. um, so yeah. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna make sure that I'm just gonna recheck my um, uh, the stuff that we have coming in tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Just check back in with that guy real quick. Um, uh, he says it will be delivered tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I, th- <coughs> I think I think we did it. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the repair bill now for the? You're um, doing the, the mongrel. Uh, so it's two million for the. Mo- it's going to be two million for each mech you want to repair. Okay, even even though we. So what what what, what Kiko is saying is that he <laughs> would like I the mongrel to be, to be more, more expensive, expensive <coughs> because it was gutted. If we eventually repair it, because it's not being repaired right now. <laughs> um, but you are getting parts coming in, so. 
Okay. We have two million for the Timberwolf. That's fine. The Nova's nothing. Those are the all integrated already. I was just wondering if the right. mongrel went up right. in price because oh, no. we utilized. <laughs> no, here, here, no, no, no. But the Nova is going to need some parts. Yes. So yeah, that's probably so maybe half, half. Yeah, well, I'll give you one, one mil for the Nova. There we go. Okay. All right, are you happy now? Things are worse. Um, I am happy. Now. No, no, it's 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 perfect. Um, it's exactly how it should be. Stavron, as you're uh, walking around the ship, you notice uh, in your uh, office or in your um, in my quarters, bunk. yeah, uh, lights flashing on your uh, oh, that uh, holovid. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna uh, hit the button, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a, it's a, like a message machine. Yes. Yeah. It uh, it's from Kiyotomo. Is it? Uh huh. Oh wow! I, I take a seat. And it just says he, uh, it's re- him reporting on in- Intel saying that um, the, bounty, the bounty hunter is out searching for burnout again. He's coming back for another bite of the apple? He's on the escalator again? <laughs> See, we deliver the 90s and 2000s. It's, we're like that radio station. <laughs> but, they, but we also deliver the hits of today. Um, and there's, then there's a knock on the door. It's Kiyotomo. Whoa! It's incredible. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, I'll say enter. And it's burnout, and he just hands you a piece of paper. Okay, I'll turn this off, <laughs> and I'll get the paper, <laughs> and then I'll I'll look at the paper. It just says I'm close, and it's a dash C bill. It's just really, and I, I look at him, and I'm like, listen, I understand that it's scary, but this guy seems like kind of a douche. <laughs> like I understand. <laughs> look, I. <laughs> I'm with you to a certain extent. I understand that. <laughs> Do you really think somebody who signs I'm with a C? Them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you really think that somebody who signs like this is gonna? <laughs> Come on. He doesn't. He doesn't know who he's messing around with. Also, you beat him once. Yeah. And I almost died. Well, yeah, but you didn't die. This, this is this is what I'm saying. Like, I, this is a doofus. No, like, it's this not. This is a clown. No. Yeah, this is not something I'm messing with. This is a little. It's a this little. Is, this is where we we need to run, hide. We need to do something. We at least need to get him off our tracks. So hang on a second. So you're saying, don't go to the literal epicenter. Stavern has been telling everyone he meets about Slaughter 7. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's his special interest. I'm like, I'm like, listen, I'm not saying we don't go there. I'm just saying we maybe make a zig or a zag or something where we're throwing this guy off the trail. I say, so have another it? child? Yeah. Make yeah, another it, one? Exactly. Say, was, was your, I say, let's, let's head up to the cockpit. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, really? He's like passing you notes? <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy. This is, oh my God. All right. So, so I'll sit down in that, in that jump seat and I'll, we're just going to pull it up. I'm like, where does, what does your gut say is the right? How do we shake him? What is the, what does your gut say is the right move? But there's no, there's no way, I'm, there's no way I'm going to put us in front of uh, every screen in the inner sphere with our whole team, if if this this circus clown is after you, I say, and I, I, I just direct him toward the toward the star map. I'm like, where does where does your gut say? You've been running for a while. Mm, yeah, I don't know. We we could move. You know, we could get into the reaches somewhere. Um, and he's, he's like pulling up, showing no. the, showing these different regions. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Maybe that's the best answer for now. Yeah, I see. We then I, make our way yeah. to to Solaris. I'm not saying don't go to Solaris. I'm just saying I, I, I'm saying throw don't, off I'm the saying scent. don't go to Solaris. <laughs> <laughs> we could throw them off to the scent, and then it'd be like, you know, you know, now yeah, the maybe Black hi- Remnant's own Roshan <laughs> flown here <laughs> by burnout. Yeah, maybe <laughs> hiding in plain sight is not the worst idea. I don't think you're hiding if you're in plain sight. That's where you and I disagree. <laughs> I say I we're gonna have to dis- we're gonna <laughs> agree, agree to disagree, to disagree on, on this one. one. <laughs> um, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna tap uh, down in the reaches, and I say I want you to get us up to our ass in this. Yeah, we can figure something out. I, I say just bury us in this, and it doesn't it doesn't have to be a permanent solution. 
but it can be the one we take now. For those unfamiliar, what are the reaches? Uh, they're the outskirts of Solaris. So the Badlands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rough Lawless. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just we're, we're gonna, this we're just gonna hide. We're gonna get as much. We're just gonna get as much resupply as we need at each place. And just keep topped up in case we ever have to really pull the lever, mm -hmm. and um, and go from one end to the other. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll just tap on that. I'll just tap on that part of the screen. Burns has. Well, that's not how it works, kid. I <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I love it. It's just like the boomer. Yeah. It's just like this. It. I'm like, yeah, some of them do. No, I'm just like. I'm like here. I say it's 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 messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to expand it. I put the two fingers at him like trying no, to. No, it's like uh, we gotta get this fixed. <laughs> yeah, this is this is broken. I'll I'll put ZZ on it. <laughs> I'll let her know it's it's screwed up. <laughs> Sorry about that. You deserve the best equipment. Mm -hmm. I really need to think about reinvesting in the company. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> um, um, yeah, seven million Z bills we're down to. So yeah. just as a heads yeah, up, we've been, yeah, we've been <laughs> making some. Some core investments. You've been some destroying some mechs and um... our own mechs. <laughs> two in two in one round. <laughs> two in one round. Oh, the other one, I mean, there was some significant savings on that. Obviously, no shipping. So consider that. Consider that one. <laughs> but no, we did. We did it. I'm exhausted. Like I'm exhausted. Like I. <laughs> actually, like, did work in real life. No. I am tired. I don't know if the uh, if the next uh, Sam Samway will, will be interested in doing business with us. <laughs> they, they might not. They might. I mean, not, there's a certain. You would expect that they uh, they uh, have a certain clientele that aren't as. Uh, oh um, no. Uh, yeah. Well, it, that aren't established. The, the <laughs> A clientele that is to, less to stavern. put it in a certain way, yes, to be um, not as stavern as some. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, a plus. <laughs> yeah, in a client, but but no. I mean, for for me, and obviously, let's say that something let's say that something happens there, and they try to drive the mech. <laughs> let's the darkest outcome imaginable. Yes. Let's say one of them tries to pilot it, <laughs> um, and dis and discover that it is. Um, <laughs> It's bubble a, gum and yes, uh, gum glue and tape. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and um, obviously, under a circumstance like that, we'll, I'll say that he can have his two hundred thousand dollars back uh, from the from the shipping. Cut to cut yeah. to <laughs> smash cut. You get a um, uh, the parts are delivered. Yes. Yeah. Um, the port master or the yard master comes along. and says, "Here are your parts." Absolutely. Yeah. Hit, hits it. Hits a big red button. Yep. Hatch opens. Yep. And he leaves. Slide that stuff in. Yep. And then Zizi comes down and starts ex inspecting everything. She's like, mm -hmm. what, the f what do you want me to do with these? Put them in those. They're all Flashman parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're good. <laughs> For a Flashman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but a Flashman, I mean, everybody loves the Flashman. <laughs> it's a classic frame. And. So we're leaving Port with a headless Nova. <laughs> A bunch of parts that we can't use. I got a good deal on these. <laughs> that... What the hell do I do with it? I got a great deal on these if, if that helps. <laughs> great. We're down like three mechs at this point that I can't fix. Well, you, you can fix them, but not no, <laughs> not completely, not a hundred percent. Um, no, these are critical pieces that you had me rip out. <laughs> Do any of these work at all? No. <laughs> They're all specifically designed. I'm, for looking, that. I'm looking over. The, I'm looking over the list, and I'm like, and I'm pointing at one that I know is not correct. I'm like, well, this will work. <laughs> yes, on a Flashman. <laughs> it says a Flashman <laughs> in the part yeah, name. Flashman <laughs> only. Flashman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a flashman only. Do not use. <laughs> I mean, I sent you out with a list, but they were all for parts for that that specific. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And, and obviously, I hear what you're saying. Everything that you're saying makes sense to me. I think that we're both angry. <laughs> um, at an unnamed other who has <laughs> failed us together. No, I think it was just you. I wish I could find him. <laughs> well, uh, we have to find the guy. Yeah, he is stabbing in a hot dog. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I say, well, I say, in the meantime, I need you to take these over to the <laughs> the Cravazier or whoever he is. The Cicerone. Uh huh. What am I gonna do with him? <laughs> well, no, you just just take him over to him. Just let like, him you know. You want me to carry them myself? Would you? <laughs> I'm. Well, I'm, I guess I'm not fixing your max state right now. I say I can do it, but you're gonna owe me one. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, 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 I get these carts, and I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna. Get this stuff moving over. Are you too. sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, because are we if, free and clear at this no, point? No, because you're eventually just gonna make it an issue. <laughs> eventually, oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it here. We'll leave it here in storage. So when he calls me later and there's a problem, I'll say, you know what? I thought about this ahead of time. <laughs> and you can go and get these things here. Yeah. So I need I need to call the dock master. I need to call the port master again. Yep. You can go to the yeah. Yep. I say, listen. Um, I need to uh, fix with parts. These are obviously all the correct parts, and <laughs> they've made my life. Uh, they've improved my life. Um, <laughs> um, I'm wondering if it's if it's possible to keep some of this, perhaps in long term storage with you. Uh, is that is that possible? Short short term storage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I'll be real with you. It, it might not be that long. So you pay me for the parts, but you want me to store the parts? Yeah, it's just it's it's a uh, I'm a pervert. This is my. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like I, 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 it, he thinks about trying to figure out he, some explanation, he just gives up and then he's just like, point. Uh, "I'm a pervert, <laughs> and this is my king." Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll store him for you. Uh, what's the charge on that? Yeah, it's a hundred thousand sea bills. <laughs> uh, deal. I just, whoop. Six point nine. Six point nine. nine. <laughs> um, and I'll say, yeah. So if you could just come back and get all this and bring it back there, and uh, I'll be up in my bunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Don't call back today. <laughs> Let's head back to the ship. <laughs> Close the hatch. He just doesn't want to explain it. He's just like, this is gonna take so long. I'm just gonna make it something so weird that he won't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gross. Just. Something about so me, something the, weird. There's uh, the entire bottom half of this notebook is just uh, declining C bill amounts. <laughs> it's yeah, it's been a big day. It's been a big day for Stavern Otho. But um, now, when they call, the replacement parts are right here, and I'll have a good answer in my back pocket. Um, and then hopefully in the future, it's <laughs> pretty funny, huh? Hey, <laughs> anyway, the real parts are over here. He got his stuff tonight. That's the thing that, <laughs> that's the thing that actually happened. Zizi was able to do something incredible. She deserves credit for that. But when it actually does fall through, we have the backup plan. It's okay. It's a, it's a very Stavron Christmas. It's a very Stavron Christmas. Well, anyway, we got to get out of here. Anyway. Like <laughs> I need to leave. Well, no, it sounds like um, yeah. I mean, it sounds like this um, Mr. Seabill is um, back in the mix. We just got to get out. You would like here. us to think that it's the bounty hunter that's causing us to flee quickly, but it's actually but the it's mess. actually it's actually all the, the it's, disaster. It's, every, of, it's, it's, it's just it's, the, the dark, <laughs> jagged wake that Stavron <laughs> leaves behind everywhere he goes. Uh -huh. The entire mm -hmm. inner sphere. We got to get out of here. Hell to breakfast. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna come back into this, the 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 hold. But yeah, goddamn bounty hunters after us again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I showed him the crumpled up message. He's back. Guess we're gonna have to leave immediately. Like Wait, right I, away. I need part more parts for We're gonna have to get him at the next place. We're gonna have to get him at the next place. We're going to a place that Your dad 
your dad it's said not that we safe. should go. Your yeah, and say so yes is really about your dad. So it's fucked up that you're talking about parts right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're being really selfish right yeah, now. Yeah, I can't even fucking believe this shit. In fact, I'm so mad I have to leave immediately. <laughs> so mad I can't even talk to you about it right now. That's how mad I am. But there's like, the face has no, not changed at all. No, you say that as you're walking up to the table. Yeah. Like, I'm, man, I gotta go. You should be ashamed of yourself. This, this is, and I'm like, this is... It's this you have, type. You it's really has to be growing up to Yeah, exactly. It's this type of shit, Victoria. And... <laughs> Back in and uh, I'll, I'll head back in and jump up with uh, Burnout and help him get the <laughs> help him get the clips out. And the, the just the doors on the mezzanine close behind you, <laughs> and everything fades to black. Well, we, that's where we end for the day. Does it fade to black or do we just go into space? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's one of the two. <clears throat> it's one of the two. All right, here. So we got. Yeah. So we will see them next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. No, no, aren't you? Oh, yeah. You're not in Japan. No, no, no. I will um, see them next Tuesday. I might not be. It'll be. A, listen, I was going to say we're we're actually in a scenario here where it can be another yeah. very special you, Stavern episode. You will not see me because I will be flying to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Actually, no. Orange County. Is, is this a uh, family? Yeah, my uh, in-laws' fiftieth anniversary. Ho ho. I think I believe that's called a quinceanera. It's not what it's called. Oh well. I could be wrong. Hey, uh, Gathered Throng, uh, what an absolute pleasure. You will see some of us next Tuesday. Um, is there anything to announce? You can talk about the unplug thing. Is it okay to do? Not the, not the one thing, but the big, like... The, well, they're bo- I consider them both big things. But I'll talk about the... Well, here, which is the thing? <laughs> it's good, it's good. Oh, yeah, okay. no, yeah. I was no. like, let's verify. Which is the thing? Speak directly yeah, to your I was going to say, no, talk down here. <clears throat> um, no, uh, if you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah into the mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, no, 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 no. Whisper no, it into this yeah, into microphone. microphone. <laughs> yeah, whisper it into my flower. Um, no, we uh, are going to be back if you are going to be at PAX Unplugged, and I hope that you are, because it's an incredible show. Um, you should definitely roll through... Uh, the second annual Black Remnant live game. Now, do we have any special guests? Uh, possibly that bronze bro- girl. Possibly. Oh, it's, it's still. VR. We gotta talk to her. Make yeah, sure yeah. Mm-hmm. Verified. Uh, well, we're certainly gonna try. Yep. We're gonna try to roll Jasmine. Family in. reunion. And family reunion. Hannah another, Oso. Another special guest. <clears throat> what? The f- special guest suck. I can't tell you that. Is it? Is it Kiko? Oh. I was like. I mean, I. I I'm just a guest. Well, he's one of the founding members. I'm like, that'd be a great guest. <laughs> Absolutely. But hey, I know. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, will it be also available for uh, on the Twitch. streaming? Oh, on yeah. Twitch? It's going okay, yes. to so, be... If you the, are an Apex Unplugged, please tune in. It's going to be um, the ba- yeah, it's going to be on the on the big stage. So Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Apex it's going to be good, good times. Special surprises. Apparently, guests, uh, plural... Yeah, surprises uh, to most people at this table. Yeah, okay, we're all learning new things. Uh, <coughs> now, uh, like I said before, uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.